So look at my potato plants. Remember I planted them about a month or so ago? Maybe not that long ago, but look at them go crazy. Put them in these funky bags. I'm just going to put a little more soil in there. It's not working. Okay, so we got cucumbers, cucumber plants, a little trellis I made, upside down potato cage. This is supposed to be canna lilies, I'm not supposed to get much water, there's just root in there, but there's nothing happening. Of course, three bags of potato plants. I just kind of threw this together, uh, mixed annuals. Those are going to be sunflowers. I mailed away to save the bees through Cheerios and I got some free seeds. So that's what that is. And so that's this kind of area. And uh, anyways, over here, I guess it's a secondary veggie area. So what do we got here? I got some uh, zucchini. And I think I might have threw some radish in there, little seeds. Here's some bunching green onions. Um, Brussels sprouts. I got some basil. And I think I have some parsley seeds in there. These are going to be beef steak tomatoes. And these are going to be green peppers. And the jalapeno peppers aren't looking good. All right, just some hanging annuals kind of th throughout the backyard. And then uh, down there is Jay's uh, special plant. Okay, so this garden, I really don't do much. A lot of perennials in, from my mother's garden. And uh, some annuals that I just kind of move around, they reseed each themselves. And of course I threw a couple more of those sunflower seeds in. We'll see what happens. Okay, this is new for me. I went and purchased a raised garden bed. And I put in um, just regular topsoil, uh, some homegrown compost, and some peat moss. And I planted all these veggies. So we'll see, it's coming along pretty good. So, and then over here, of course, is uh, Jay's veggie garden. Wink, wink. Take a look. So over here we have some dill. Uh, two different types of tomato plants. Uh, basil. Two different types of lettuce, which is really coming along. I got some beets, and these are going to be red onions. Might have crowded it too much, but we'll see. Well, this is the tourist attraction during the pandemic. I went and bought a, a bird feeder. And I got to tell you, the birds in the hood love it. It's a flurry of activity. Check it out. Just a little bit of a shade garden, so hopefully it'll come along. Okay, this is the bug garden. Um, also known as I, my brother passed away a few years ago. I call it my bill garden. Anyways, I have a couple of uh, perennials. A couple sunflower fleet seeds planted in it. This is uh, from my mother's garden. It's just been seeding everywhere. And uh, just another little basket. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. So all the perennials in this garden, this backyard, it's all from my parents' garden. My mother was an avid green thumb. And she actually won the Trillium Award in Toronto quite a few years ago. Um, I've pale. I fail in comparison, but I try. In the last garden, I have still have to clean it out. It's kind of full of weeds, but I got some ferns coming in from uh, Fraser Lake Cottage, where we used to have a cottage, so I just have them coming in, and uh, I got to clean it all out. And then, of course, there's my homegrown cat, Jagger. <laughs> Startled Jeff.